Fusion 360 comes with powerful rendering features. You can render almost any object or material in a photorealistic way. You can even add custom backgrounds. If I'm in the Fusion 360 renderer, I can click the setup and scene settings. Instead of solid color for background, I can select environment. This will automatically put in a default environment. It's a good idea for small objects to change the focal length. You can zoom out a bit. You can use a wide angle lens. And now I can see what my object might look like in a photo studio. If you click on environment library, there are many more options that you can download from Fusion. For example, I can put it on a plaza. And we can pretend that this is a big public art sculpture in the middle of the plaza. And that's great for many objects or if you're modeling a car or something large, but often we might be modeling a small object and we wanna see what it looks like if it was on an interior space. Fusion has some interior spaces, but they're mostly photo studios. How can we add a custom HDRI environment to Fusion? Well, we can attach a custom environment down at the bottom of the scene settings, but where are we going to get these custom environments? We'll fire up a web browser, type in HDRI Haven. So here we have Greg Zal. He's a CG artist and an open source advocate. So he has made these HDRIs available to you for free, Creative Commons Zero license. Just because they're free doesn't mean that you shouldn't give him credit. So please always credit him. And if you have the means, go ahead and toss him some money. So let's go ahead and see these HDRIs. So if we go to the browse 200 plus HDRIs, we can filter for interior. And then we find these nice interior spaces. So you can scroll down to one that you think would be appropriate for your object. Here we have a carpentry shop. So I'm gonna click on carpentry shop. And then you have options for downloading them. It's best to get the highest resolution one available. So I'm gonna click this 16K version. Then once it's downloaded, we can go back to Fusion. In Fusion, click on the Attach Custom Environment folder. You can browse to your Downloads folder and then select the HDR file that you just downloaded. Then it has to upload to Fusion, and these are large files, so that can take a second, so just wait. So now it's uploaded, and now Fusion has to process it into the renderer. Now we have our object in this cool carpentry shop. We can place the object around, we can change the focal length in the scene settings. And then you can rotate your body to move around so we can see. And now we have our object here on something that's a little bit more the right scale. So we'll put it right here. You can scale it up just a little bit. And now if we go ahead and click render, once that's rendered, we can have all these reflections from these objects in this workshop that are more of a scale for a small object that we might be 3D printing or using in another setting that's not as large as a building or a car. Hopefully everyone out there can create some great renders with these HDRIs generously provided by Greg Zal. Thanks, Greg.